Now, Google is a name and a verb. Just as people say they've Googled information on the web, Microsoft is hoping its new search engine will prove even more popular. It's called Bing, a name that's been carefully chosen and was launched today. It aims to give you all of the information you're seeking on one page, and when you're looking for video, all you need to do is hover your mouse over it rather than click to a different page. Tonight, Microsoft begins a $100 million ad campaign on American television, as our technology correspondent Benjamin Cohen reports. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to bing and decide. Bing, it's Microsoft's big hope that they can finally conquer the web that for so long has been dominated by Google. It comes a year and a half after their failed attempt to buy rival Yahoo, but how does it compare to the market leader Google? If I search for San Francisco, I find information not just on the city, but also in things like the weather, hotels, restaurants, and maps, all on one page, and all intelligently selected for me. I can also view handy little extracts of the websites, together with internal links from within them, all of which means it takes much less time to find the information I'm looking for than when I use the rival. And if I search for the latest videos on the recent plane crash, Google takes 24 seconds to load a video, but it's unrelated. While on Bing, the videos are relevant and they start playing as soon as I place my mouse over them. But it's quick for all videos, including porn, which don't forget is the most searched for content on the internet anyway. But there's a big mountain to climb, particularly here in the UK. Last month, 91% of all searches were made on Google, 4% on Yahoo, and Microsoft have just 2%. Even in the USA, where Google's less popular, Microsoft have less than 10% share. Our customers tell us they'd like choice. They don't feel that, that Google has really moved on for the best part of 10 years. There is huge demand for a new search engine from all sides, and we think that we have got the product that's going to meet those needs. Part of the success of Google has been because it's been incorporated into everyday speak. It's even in dictionaries, something that just wouldn't have happened for Microsoft's old search engine. Hey, did you window live search me the other day? Why, no. It's a bit much to get Windows Live, I mean, really, Windows Live search. But on the other hand, if you just say, did you bing me? That's not, ba that's not bad, you know, you know, just bing me on that. Google has been encroaching into Microsoft's traditional territory of documents and even operating systems. So Microsoft needs to grab a share of Google's traditional market of search. Therefore, if Bing doesn't take off, Microsoft's survival could be in doubt.